Alrighty folks, Sharpie Point here. Today I'm going to show you how to set up a automated self-feeding hatch farm in oxygen not included. You see here I have a bunch of hatches here. The uh, creature relocator. I've got a clock timer. I've got two of these uh, rock granulators. There's some odor deodorizers and also in here some more deodorizers. So let's go to the automation overlay. In the automation overlay you'll see that a lot of these things are already hooked up via the automation wires. You have these doors down here, this door, this one, there, and these two doors, then these two doors. Now what happens here is during the uh, night cycle this clock here is set at 98%. So when the cycle gets to 98% it will open up all these doors and drop the sand and clay down to the hatches. So this is a good way to get a great supply of coal and creating sand at the same time. The sand can be used to, for the deodorizers to make clay and then that clay is then dropped off to the hatches and then makes coal. The sand, extra sand gets dropped down to the hatches also. Now the end of the cycle just happened, so here in a short period of time, you get to see all these doors that will open, drop all the items down, and then it will feed all the hatches. Let's go ahead and speed it up just a little bit. Alright, and the cycle is coming up. And there we go. And all the hatches get fed. So this allows you to create a bunch of sand and clay during throughout the day and then drop all that sand and clay to the to your set of hatches. Now what this room here is, it's another a little automation room. It's actually cleaning the polluted oxygen to clean oxygen and killing off all the germs. And then that oxygen and then just is fed into the base itself. Now that's used through a atmospheric sensor, a knot gate, and a buffer gate. This atmospheric sensor is set on a pretty low, which is 25 grams. So basically what we're doing is we're creating a vacuum, or close to a vacuum. Once this air has all been cleaned, it's pumped out through this gas pump. Then if there's any polluted oxygen still here, it'll recycle it back through this gas filter and then out this gas high pressure vent. Once the atmospheric sensor goes down to 25 grams, it'll then activate and then open these two doors here. These two doors here are set on a buffer for 30 seconds. About a sufficient amount of time for the all this polluted oxygen to filter into the into this chamber here. Then those doors will close and then the process starts all over again. So we'll go ahead and speed it up a little bit. There you can see the doors have opened. Now you have such a low pressure here and a high pressure here that the gas will flood into this chamber. You see our gas is flowing through pretty good. And the timer is fixing to run out. And now the doors close. So that's just two methods of automation you can do. You can feed hatches with sand and clay. And then your extra clay you're getting while you're cleaning all this, uh, this polluted oxygen is also fed to the hatches. In turn, this will supply you with quite a bit of coal. Hatches produce coal at a one-to-one -one ratio. 
So whatever they consume, they produce that in coal. And if you have any other ideas on how to do any type of automation, I'd like to hear from you. Until next time, take care of yourselves. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.